Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I am in Austin, Texas right now for the first ever John Deere Tech Summit. Also on brand with wearing green. So this is like a three day summit. I got here last night, we had a great welcome dinner, but today is when the action is gonna happen. So I'm not really sure what to expect. Today is gonna be more of like a tech lessons and sessions, and then tomorrow we are going to the farm. But before we do all of that, we got a gift bag. You know we love a good gift bag. It's official because it has my name on it, so they can't take it back. The first thing in this swag bag is this. Really glad I brought a big suitcase. We'll see what else we have. We have the official t-shirt of the summit, 2023 Tech Summit, Austin, Texas. This is really nice. Is a freaking John Deere rain jacket? Um, even if it's not raining, I'm gonna be wearing it. We have a 310 SL backhoe loader. As much as I think I know about tractors, I actually don't know anything about tractors except for um, that I'm eager to learn and it's gonna be a great time. And now I've got some really great toys. These are collectors, these are not toys. This says this is the prestige collection. All right, let's go see what the summit has in store for us. All right, so we are now inside where the summit is gonna be taking place. This is also where breakfast was, so it was very convenient. Let's do this. Tech summit, so you're all making history in our inaugural event. Woo! Um, yeah! Okay, so that concludes the first session of the Tech Summit. We now are breaking for lunch. And there's actually a sign over here that we're all gonna sign and it's gonna live forever in the John Deere archives, which is pretty impressive. So let's go over here, let's sign our little name, let's get some lunch and then we will get back for more tech sessions. Everybody wants to get in the archives. Did you sign it? I sure did. I signed it and I printed it. Put a date, because it's like, we don't know what autonomy is. It's true. But 106 years from now, they're gonna think they look back. Oh wow, they didn't know what autonomy But yeah, I put a date, I drew, come on. Do we think I should put at Johnny's That is me. You could totally do that. So it's not as right. Wow, that was stressful. Nice show. Thank you. All right guys, it is Day two here of the John Deere Summit, and today we are going on the farm. But I wanna show you the fit. Okay, we have a flannel. I was gonna wear jeans, and then I realized it's like 80 some degrees, and that's way too hot. So we're rocking the Lululemon, the flannel, and the Tims. You guys ready for the farm? Cause I'm not, I actually am gonna go get breakfast and then we're going to the farm. Let's go. All right guys, so today is the day that we are out here on the farm and we are gonna be kind of seeing all of the action of the things that we learned yesterday in the Tech Summit. Yesterday the Tech Summit was basically all about, you know, education and kind of teaching us the way of the land. But today, boots on the ground, we've got a hat. We were greeted with this amazing John Deere hat and we are gonna see some of these tractors in action. Oops, everybody has left me. All right, we are officially in the field, getting down and dirty. What are you guys expecting to, to get out of today? Uh, a lot of horsepower. <laughs> oh, a lot of, okay, a lot I of horsepower. Sea and spray, you know? <laughs> sea and spray. Do you think this is the sea and spray? Okay, this is, this is a bumpy off-road experience. Good thing I got my boots on. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna really just. I don't really Have know. Have fun, right? Nothing rides like a deer, you know. Nothing Let's. I think it's like nothing runs like a deer, but it also nothing rides like a deer. John Deere. Anyway. There's some big equipment up here, so let's go see. So what's really cool about this space is that it's relatively new. John Deere acquired this land and they use it as their testing facilities. So we're getting to kind of tag along and test things and see how it works and just kind of see this stuff in action. Right now, I'm getting ready to go on the sprayer. I'm the first ride of the day. Let's get in. Yep, so the, the time it actually sees a weed and then engages the nozzle body or the sprayer is about 200 milliseconds so everything's happening pretty quickly we're going a little slower typically an operator go um, a little faster i know you guys talked last week about connected mm -hmm. support but we do have the ability to watch the machine on your ipad or your mobile device okay next up i'm getting to drive they're gonna let me drive the gator so let's hope that let's hope i can do a good job All right, David, <laughs> don't let us down. <laughs> So right now we are checking out the autonomous 
tractor. This is actually fascinating watching it work. And the coolest thing is that you can start and stop it. You can monitor it with an app. So I was watching them literally stop the tractor. You can get notifications and it's just fully autonomous, which is saving people so much time so they could be working on other things or like hanging out with their family. Uh, pretty fascinating. I wonder if I can go inside. I think I can go inside. Look at this! I mean, oh, oh, the seat! This cab is just like any other, any other cab a farmer would utilize. So essentially in the cab there's nothing unique for autonomy, but how they interact with the tractor there would be the, the, the screen on your right, the command center. Um, and that's how they'll set things up and then ultimately they can get out of the cab and they'll just go to work. So this is cool. This is one of the seat and sprays and the technology that is inside of it is pretty wild. They have all of these cameras and sensors that are actually able to tell what a weed is compared to what a crop is. And it's happening so fast and it's able to that way obviously save um, save resources so that you're not just spraying everything. And it's just incredible technology. We're gonna go inside right now, so. Let's see. And spray. So right now, we just got another ride in the sprayer. We went up to a top speed of 12 miles per hour. Everyone here is getting very brave. They're putting the technology. You put your 360 camera in it, around it, under it. It's all awesome. Around. It's really good everywhere. shots. So right now, I'm going to get a little demonstration of how the combine works during harvesting. Uh, so obviously, this is going to be a demonstration. Unfortunately, there's nothing to harvest right now because it is such a uh, specific time of the year that it does happen. But I'm gonna go inside and get a little demonstration of how it would happen. It's so cool, the technology. These all sync up together to make it like super efficient and make it quick. So it's now lunchtime and on my way to get the lunch, which I've already eaten by the way, it was lovely. Um, I found a Dr. Pepper. I have not had a Dr. Pepper in probably like a decade and it just feels right, right now, here on the farm to enjoy this Dr. Pepper. We're now kind of like learning more about how a lot of this technology works. So we just got to see some furrow vision, which is something that I've never even thought about in my entire life. So it really is fascinating to see how all of the behind the scenes happens. It's, Not, it's quite modest, but we're gonna make a comparison between this one and the electric version. So this is the 310P tier, which is our, our equivalent, uh, our diesel model available today. So right now we're actually checking out an electric backhoe, which they were saying all of the things and answering all the questions related to you know what the consumers are normally asking, like okay, what about the battery? What's the charge life? So basically, this can get you a day of work with like eight to twelve hours, and they have portable chargers, but it also works with normal chargers. Like you can roll up to a charging station off the highway and charge your backhoe, which. Now I'm kind of curious of how I can do a little experiment and take one of these to a normal charging station, roll up next to some Teslas, and be like, yo, just charging my backhoe. Anyway, pretty cool technology. So that wraps up our time at the farm. We're going back to the hotel and we will discuss everything that just happened. But right now, I'm going to take a 45 minute nap. Okay, so I know this was like a super random video, although you guys are probably used to it if you've seen my channel before, but this was a really cool time and it was a really cool opportunity. So like, I'm really grateful that John Deere invited me out to this first tech summit. It was definitely very inspiring and eye-opening. You know, agriculture is something that we all need to survive. The one thing that I really took away was that when it comes to agriculture and harvesting, you only have like a very short amount of time to do it right. And if you don't do it right, you can literally lose everything and you can jeopardize everything for that year. They made an example, they were like, what if you only had one year to make one video that your life depended on? And I was like, well, we'd be in trouble. Farmers are so amazing what they do. They are some of the hardest working people. And I was just really grateful that I kind of got to go behind the scenes and see all the tech and see how things are done. But anyway, thank you to John Deere for inviting me. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, I have a few more vlogs that I've recently posted, so be sure to check that out. And I'll see you again. Well, I'm gonna see you soon because you're gonna go watch another vlog.